going on Lego Maniacs? It's Ty Lego right here and welcome to another awesome review for Old School Wednesdays. I'm just going to say it right now. This is one of the best $20 value sets you could get back in the day that was a castle set. When I was looking at this nowadays, I was like, this isn't a 30 US dollar set. We're going to get into exactly why. The set we're going to be looking at is the Lego Castle Troll Assault Wagon. That's set 7038, had 161 pieces, came out in 2008, had four minifigs, one of them's a big fig, and it retailed for only $19.99 US. We're gonna get into why this is such a great deal. Uh, nowadays, this set's going 48 new, 27 used. It's just a very solid castle set. Like, I was honestly shocked looking at them. Like, this only costs 20 US. Uh, and as you guys can see, it's a very nice looking set. Uh, a lot of playability with it as well. Um, it's one of my favorite 20 US dollar sets, but that's for Castle. Anyways, enough talk, let's get right into it. All right, well to begin, let's just give you guys a view of, uh, yeah, here's, a, it comes with a little cool looking little cart. You can put weapons on there. It obviously has a little King's uh, banner. And now let's get into the meat of the set. I'll give you guys a 360 view as I normally do. It's a little bit different, difficult with this uh, big fig. So as you guys can see, it's it's a very nice looking little wagon. Uh, it's sizable too. This is such a great deal for 20 US. Um, so anyways, let's take a look at some of the features. Now the first thing I want to mention is I love the fact that there's a turkey in front of this big fig. It's kind of like how he's making him go because he keeps trying to get the turkey. Uh, the other thing is it has these big, awesome, massive wheels. And they work quite well, as you guys can see. Um, and then behind this flag, if you raise it, there's a shooting mechanism. And how you kind of make that work is it's done by this trigger back here. And let's just demonstrate how that kind of happens. Oh, okay, let's try that again. It actually does work normally. It just has, it has camera. Yeah, so you guys can see it works really, really well. I love shooting those off. I just, such an awesome job. And also, obviously, he has these cool chains that are kind of like connected to uh, the wagon to make it, you know, to drag it. And then you also get these really cool looking, they're almost like troll, what have you, skeleton type banner. Um, I think that's awesome as well. These nice big spikes in case they try to get the ride, um, the actual driver to the wagon, they can't. So just all in all, great looking set. I really, really like it. I think it's an awesome job for 20 US. Let's now take a look at the minifigs as well as the big fig, which is one of the main reasons also why this set's such a good deal. And here we have the three of the four minifigs. It's a very, very uh, nice looking, nice detail. I love the or, I'm not troll, I have Lord of the Rings on the mind. He has no back face printing, back torso printing, but nice looking armor. Nice looking helmet, which was kind of custom. Sword as well is sort of custom to this uh, theme. Uh, at least back when this was made, back in 2007. 2008, my con condolences. Uh, anyways, nice looking minifig, love his face, red eyes. It just, it is like Lord of the Rings. Then you get two uh, normal King soldiers. So I'll just show you guys these, their heads. Um, Nothing too crazy. Uh, you know, this was the Viking head they've used before. And then also this was just a unique head they threw in. But anyways, nice looking soldiers. I kind of like the fact that you get two king soldiers because you're always trying to collect these dudes. Let's now take a look at the- And thing. here he is, just awesome. This was one of the few other themes that does big figs that's not movie based. Um, and I, I just think they're awesome. This, these big trolls, these big spikes. He got this turkey leg. He can hold things with his hands. Looks like he's somewhat armored as well. It's just awesome looking. It kind of has a Clash of Clans type vibe. I mean, yeah, I, I really like these figs. I really hope that Lego does big figs for Castle again in the future. Um, I just think he looks great. But yeah, those are the mini figs. Let's now get into the end of the review and get my- Well guys, that was my review. Do hope you enjoyed it. Um, honestly, Everything they have in this set, like the, the you know, the, the, the wagon itself, the shooting mechanism, the big fig, the fact he has like a turkey in front of the uh, basically big dumb troll to go and like make the wagon move. The fact you get a couple cool king soldiers, like 
It's just a great set. It's a great deal. I understand if this was 30 US, the price per piece wouldn't be great, but as you guys can see, it's a pretty big set. You even get a big fig. Like this could easily be worth 30 US nowadays. And it just looks great. Like great displayability, great playability. Those are two things I always look for in a set. And if they have both, they get, they're right there, they get near perfect uh, marks, right? And you know, everything worked pretty well. The shooting mechanism worked awesome. It's just a great, very creative, awesome set. Um, yeah, anyways, but let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this set. Do you like it? Do you not? Do you possibly own it? Any areas you think they could maybe improve on this set? I just think it's, it's a really solid all-around model. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for you today. But if you like this video, leave it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. And click that bell so you're notified for any future old new sets we do on this channel. We do them every Wednesday, and I love doing them. They're one of my favorite type videos to make. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. But thanks again for watching. Really appreciate all your guys' support. And I'll catch you on the next one.